hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel this is Carmina astrologer using Vedic principles and reader with the cards of truth and today we are going to take a look at the compatibility between Justin Bieber and his fiance or some say now wife Haley Baldwin so before we get into it I'm just gonna let you know that uh, for this analysis, I'm going to be using a manual casting. Uh, I'm using a normal playing deck of cards. You can use any deck you want. I have at the moment a deck of minion cards. The thing is that you need to, to have at least the face card, so the jack, kings and queens, um, to be able to see them reverse. You know, some, some people such as myself i also like to look at the pip cards reverse but at least you should have the the court cards the face cards reverse okay so why am i doing this uh, manual spread and not uh, an astrological analysis like i did for priyanka chopra and nick jonas i'm gonna link it somewhere here or here if you're interested in it well for nick and priyanka i had the um, the pretty precise birth time but for Justin and Haley, for Justin I have the birth time I think it's uh, 1st of March 1994 at 0056 a.m. in London Ontario but if you put in that birth time you'll see it's the last degree of Scorpio so the ascendant changes you know um, one degree in every four minutes so if he's born four minutes later he would be a Sagittarius ascendant so that's a question mark right there and uh, for Haley Baldwin we don't have any birth time so I don't even know for sure what her birth card is she can either be uh, a queen of hearts or a jack of hearts while Justin for sure is a ten of clubs so because of this uncertainty and also because I love doing manual uh, cast uh, readings I decided to, to just go ahead and you know cast um, um, a card spread to see the compatibility between Justin and Haley um, I did the same with uh, Justin and Selena a long time ago and it showed that they weren't really gonna live together and have a home together uh, I'm gonna, you know, link this video somewhere here and I also did this uh, compatibility with Noah, Cyrus and Lil Xan and additionally, besides that uh, relationship um, compatibility I'm, I'm also gonna do a past life spread between Justin and Haley to see what kind of connection there was for them in a past life so as I was saying yes normal card deck the the first uh, spread that we're gonna do is going to be the compatibility spread and we will look at uh, seven uh, cards we will lay out seven cards the first card will show us the spiritual connection just let me put it right here the second card the romantic connection the third card the sexual connection the fourth card the domestic connection, the fifth, the financial connection, the sixth, the work connection, and the final and seventh card is the outcome of the relationship. Okay, so what do we have here? The first card that shows the spiritual connection is a heart, is a three of hearts, which is kind of reversed. So, hearts are, are a devotional suit, so it's nice always to have a heart when we talk about spiritual connection. But because this um, heart is reverse, this three of hearts is reverse, it's, it can be kind of like a cheating card, an affair card. Like, maybe Haley was the person that... You know Justin turned to when he was in a previous relationship so they have this mm, devotion this loyalty towards each other but I think it 
it might have uh, surged out in a, you know, a less than um, a pleasant way for the second party. So I think, I mean, not I think, the cards are telling me and I'm just a translator, I'm an interpreter and, you know, sometimes the what they say is not what the people want to hear but it is what it is so yeah there is definitely a connection between them uh, a devotion a spiritual connection and um, i think they were there for each other even when they were in relationships with other people i'm just gonna say that the second card is the romantic connection and here we have a king of clubs this is very interesting that we have a king because about two weeks ago when we looked at uh, Noah Cyrus and little Zan, they had a king of diamonds, if I recall correctly. So, the romantic connection. You know, clubs are not the most romantic card. It's more intellectual. It's more impersonal friendship. It's, um, you know, it's the sense of humor you share. It's not really like a heart, like very passionate or like a diamond. Diamonds can also be passionate. Black cards are not so passionate. They're more focused on doing, on, you know, doing their own thing. And this king of clubs here, it shows that their connection is, you know, it's, they, they uh, sacrifice a lot both of them to do what they are inspired to do because the king of clubs is the the person who has reached a high level at their expertise at their creativity with their inspiration and they're just you know they're just doing their what they want to do at a high level so and it also involves sacrifice so i think it's good to have on the romantic connection a kink because it shows that they would sacrifice things for the relationship but it's more friendship it's more creativity it's more sense of humor than it is um you know romantic i think uh, Haley and justin were together briefly a few years ago and then they broke up and they remain friends and you know so i think this card reflects this very well the next card shows their sexual compatibility and it's another three another reversed three a, free, a three of diamonds and uh, on the mars card to have a three okay that's a very and the red three i think it's it's a very passionate a sexual relationship between them but because also the three is reversed there can also be some heated arguments i i believe there can be some some crises some you know some heated arguments and also a red three reverse also involving some betrayal of trust at some point not to each other but as i was saying when i looked at the first card i think they when they were together with other people maybe they were still hooking up or something like that the next card is the domestic compatibility and this is a reverse seven of clubs a lot of reverse cards in this spread we have one two three four reverse cards so it shows there is a lot of confusion in this relationship there is we have two kings so there is also a lot of sacrificing other things and you know the willingness to work for it but there's also pretty much a lot of confusion i don't like to see a seven in the domestic life card because sevens are always you know reaching limitations a seven of clubs reverse is like when you realize maybe as a musician that you know your music doesn't sound as good is not as uh, creative as other musicians or you know whatever job you have you realize you you have reached kind of you hit the wall with your ideas and you need to make some changes so yeah 
I don't like this for living together. It doesn't really... We'll see what happens, but... It will be like you are like by living together, they will learn a lot. Um, living together for them will be more to show each of them individually uh, what ideas, what concepts they had before and which will kind of get broken down. So it's more, it's more than a collaboration, it's more some individual painful realization of some things that are not working out related to their career so yes uh, the next card is the fifth card and it it is the financial card it shows the finances and this is a king of spades it's a king of spades you know the king of spades is the most um, sacrificing king of them all because it sacrifices its ego it's a fixed card when you look at the you know at the um, quadration if you look at the cards of truth and if you look at the queen quadration it's a fixed card so no matter how many times you you quadrate the cards it remains in the same place it's like an anchor this king of spades so in the financial card, in the financial placement, it shows that these people will make long lasting changes to their finances together. They will get rid of some limitations. Mind you, these are both very successful, very rich people. But somehow by being together, they kind of mm, financially, they uh, kill their ego, you know. So in investing in things or doing financial things together, uh, they have the opportunity of uh, letting go of the part of them which is not true. So which is good, but it's also kings are always, especially black kings, they are hard work. So they already have two black kings in their spread. There's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work together. Uh, the next is the next card is the work collaboration and that's a, a jack of diamonds and it's not reverse it's a very nice jack of diamonds so this shows that these two together uh, can make um, each other and the people around them feel very valued feel very valuable they can when they work together they can make the best of the moment they can bring out new opportunities so this but the the jack is not a very long lasting card so i don't think they will consistently collaborate or work together but when they do they're gonna make those involved feel like they're worth it you know they're, they're, they're gonna feel like what they bring out together is something that makes you feel worth it makes you feel good in a way because that's what the the jack of diamonds does it's the so-called salesman card <sighs> the last card is the outcome of the relationship and it's a reverse queen of spades i don't like the fact that it's a reverse queen because reverse cards are always something delayed something not turning out the way it's supposed to be so if the the queen of spades wouldn't be reversed it would be okay they are follow the relationship between them is following its own path uh, regardless of what other people are saying like without the need for validation and they're kind of isolating themselves from the world in a way just to focus on their path but because of this queen of spades is reversed it can show that they kind of are lazy in pursuing their in pursuing their own path you know they they get lazy instead of investing the the queen's energy or you know things get delayed so yes this relationship if i look at it now it has you know it has two spades two clubs two diamonds and a heart it has two threes, two kings, a jack, a seven, and a queen. So there's a lot of sexual energy there. There's a lot of 
um, also a lot of letting go of ideas that are not necessary like sacrificing things there's a lot of also making uh, long-term changes with that king of spades so financially they're gonna overcome some limitations in a way so their relationship somehow will teach them uh, a lesson that they're gonna apply all their lives about finances so i i hope at least that's good but i don't like this this seven this seven is difficult for living together this reverse seven of clubs so we'll see how it turns out before you you know you you start commenting like oh but blah 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 just give it a few months and see how things turn out because with these celebrities and their busy lives you never know how it's gonna be so before you comment just take some time to see how things evolve okay so now after we've seen this uh, compatibility uh, that shows how things stand at the present moment between them let's see what the past life is between them let's see if they have some i'm sure they have a connection because uh as i said they they've known each other they've been <clears throat> hanging out in the same circles they already been together and they've been friends so i'm sure there's this affinity this connection uh from a past life so now together they are burning some karma for a reason or another so let us cast um, a past life spread to see what exactly was their relationship in a past life the past life spread is going to consist of seven cards again uh, the first card would be uh, the path uh, they were on when they met uh, the second card would be uh, their inner life like their inner self the third and the fourth are highlights from their you know past life relationship together and then the next card which is the fifth would be the evolution of their inner selves and the next card is the sixth card is like the, the evolution of their path and the last card is uh, the karmic balance what they need to learn in this life from previous times like what are they here to do together so the first card how they met is a queen of diamonds this is you know the queen of diamonds is somebody very powerful very capable of managing things of making money so mm, you know they were one of them i think both of them they were rich people they were successful people also in a past life so this is how they met this is the circumstances under which they met uh, but but somehow their you know their inner value was not so great because it's a, a reverse seven of diamonds so although there was success there was financial success uh you know they weren't feeling very worthwhile they weren't feeling they were very worthy their existence were very worthy they were kind of victimizing themselves that they they can't do more than they are doing so they were not really appreciating then their own worth and um i think they were in a some sort of business relationship from what i see uh maybe boss and um a boss and um an employee because the queen of diamonds of course would be the boss the seven would be the seven correspond to saturn and saturn is the the servant and the uh, highlights from their uh, their life together is a reversed five of spades which is a difficult card which is like a crisis with their body and also uh, a ten of diamonds a ten of diamonds is a lot of financial rewards but i think one of them uh one of them really worked the other person i mean they they made money because of each other but also one of them suffered physically so i think they had some sort of illness because of that reverse five of 
uh, of spades so they were kind of exhausted but they were definitely making a lot of money together and let's see how that changed like how that changed at the end of their lives together um yes they became their path became more competitive they became more inimical towards each other because the three of spades here is a very independent thinking card and then um there but inwardly there um the card is eight of hearts and the eight of hearts is being emotionally fulfilled without need for validation so from victimization they evolved to some sort of emotional fulfillment which is nice and uh, it's very interesting because most cards here i mean we have three spades three diamonds one heart and one uh, actually yeah three spades three diamonds and one heart we don't have any clubs so in the past life there was no you know something intellectual or anything like that it was mostly financial and uh, it had to do with their health with their body development and uh, romantic i wouldn't say so romantic the eight of hearts is more um, inner fulfillment so yeah they were definitely in a employer employee relationship together and you know one of them suffered um, some physical ailments because of the stress of the work and uh, the karmic balance here is the king of spades if you remember in the in the last spread that we did uh, the the king of spades was on their financial placement so that means again it's not a coincidence that king of spades shows up here they kind of have to let go of some financial i don't know some financial limitations but they have a they have to play out some karma in regards to sacrificing themselves because the king of spades is the one that sacrifices the ego completely so it will be you know the person who kind of financially uh, abused a little i would say well not abused because the queen is not reversed but the one one of these people felt like a victim in the relationship like it, it was a bit exploited and their health had to suffer so now you know now they kind of have to um, somehow in a financial situation in a financial collaboration they will make some decisions that will kind of shatter and bash their egos and will uh, kind of let what is true for them come out so because there's you know we have social media with these celebrities we have instagram and everything but we don't really know what's going on behind closed doors with them so it's it's hard to say if we will kind of get confirmation of this but it would be interesting to follow to see if they buy a business together if they do something together because i think that's what they have to burn it's a lot it's it's a lot of you know financial karma it's more than romance and uh, things like that so yes, this was the, the reading for uh, Justin and Haley. What I liked about card readings is that, you know, they show the compatibility in the moment and they allow the persons to space for growth. And, um, you know, you can see where the problems are, you can work through them. They can both, uh, you know, make a lot of effort and work because of those two kings but definitely there will be some sacrificing and whenever sacrificing happens even though it's for a good purpose the ego gets a bit i don't want to do it i don't want to let go so it's going to be a bit uncomfortable we'll see how that pans out in the meantime if you want a manual card reading from me uh, you can check out my website yourstarsaligned.com uh, i also offer astrology readings and readings using the cards of truth software 
At the same time, if you want to enroll in one of my upcoming classes, make sure you check out the, the courses section of the website. And um, I also have a book on musicians, a study on 375 musicians to test out if the planetary configuration match the um, astrological techniques I have learned from Sanskrit text and also um, I finished writing, co-writing a book on astrology explained the ancient principles for the modern mind with my colleague Levi Kozen. We're gonna publish it in a PDF form very soon and uh, if you want to pre-order I'll put the link below. So let me know if you want me to do compatibility of other celebrity couples because uh, you know I have Rahu in Gemini and I love <laughs> using my hands. Let me also mention that Rahu is in my 8th house of the occult so I love doing card readings. I love doing astrology as well but I don't know card reading and using my hands brings me kind of a special joy. Okay, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye!